just went directly over it. <laughs> We're bringing up a whole tree. You know what? I thought we was gonna fail. We might actually get this thing out. Oh no! <laughs> Bro! I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there, and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents. It's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles, and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. We're back in Alabama. <laughs> Stevenson, Alabama. Where is that? Uh, man, <laughs> this is a little town. This is a little town. We was here a while ago searching for a missing person. Yep. And uh, found a car. And it's not our missing guy. But, uh, oh dear. You look at them deer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dude, this bridge is like. Yeah, this bridge feels like it's break. Deadly. But, Ooh, I don't uh, know if you guys can hear that. Oh, they can hear it. They can look at me bouncing all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what were we saying? Well, we got ourselves, we do you dove it actually. Yeah. Got ourselves uh, an old Chevy hatchback. Dude, this thing is cool. It's a mystery car because it could be a Chevette, but I couldn't find one that looked like the rear end. And like, there's all these other people tell throwing these names out I've never even heard of. It's something ugly and cool. Yeah, it's, it's a unique old Chevy. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. But we have, a, we have new tools. We yeah. have state-of-the-art, new lift bags oh, yeah. that we're gonna float this thing and we're, it's not gonna be damaged at all. I'm excited. Hopefully we can get the doors open easily too without ripping the doors off. No guarantee off. on no that. No guarantees on the doors, but. Well, this should be a fun one, so. Let's all get right. out here, man. Check this car out and uh, hopefully not get wet. Not, not, not. <laughs> 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 man what are we doing out here not that i feel better though now now i can't dive my back oh my back some giant just jumped on me oh gosh it's raining a little bit man. dude last time we was here you actually had visibility i think you'll have an inch i'll have i'll have none this water is not moving at all but i'm diving today so i don't care so it's kind of green I mean, you, I'll, I'll be able to see something for a second, but the second I get to the car, it's gonna kick up all the mud. But my my spidey senses will be tingling, so I'll know where to put the chains, you know? I'm just, I just wanna know what this car is. It's, it's just- a The hatchback. Car, oh, we know it's an ugly old hatchback, but that's about, that's hey, about it. That's your opinion? Somebody <laughs> loved this car at some point, and they was devastated. They loved it so much, they threw it in the- No, 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 it was stolen. It was stolen back in the 60s or something, I don't know. But this thing is, it's unique. This will be a unique one. Well, I think we might be the only ones out here, so we don't have to worry about uh, yeah. that. But um, I don't know. There I'm might hard. be a snapping turtle or something. Is there gators out here? No, there's there nothing gators? out there here. There's gators in Alabama. Cuttlefish. There's cuddly <laughs> fish. All right, let's back the boat up and get in here. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's do a scissor reel on the backing up of the boat. That'll be fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Man, you doubt me? I never doubted you. Never. Yeah, we're gonna mark it and dive it and all that other stuff. It's almost like we've done this before. So the sonar is not working. It's, that's always a good thing. Hopefully it starts working soon. Just blow on it. It's like an old Sega Genesis, right? I mean, you're not the worst when it comes to being wrong. <laughs> it worked. What did you do? There's water in it. So I just blew out the water. Blew it out. Blew it out. Look at that. Freaking working, working like a charm. Right. This should be fairly quick because it's 10 feet deep. And we already know exactly where the car is. There's no current. Nobody out here. And it's like right there. What? Oh. <laughs> Is he messing with me? No. You guys better let me know. M Mitch. What? If you guys don't know, this is Mitch. He's our camera guy. Hello. Say hey, Mitch. Hi. Everybody in the comments, say hey. You gotta, you gotta let me know if, if he's messing with us. Oh. Nah. -uh. <laughs> you gotta give me the wink. Like, 
Oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, just go like this. That's gonna be the reason they're winking at you. Just kind of look around the corner and we're like, <laughs> he's doing it again. He's doing the thing. All right, do you have a magnet already? I got the little, yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Use your words. Just went directly over it. So now I'm like, well, that's gonna be easy. Hey, how come we couldn't get a shot like that last time? Went right over, you could like totally, you can totally see it. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna learn today. We have these amazing giant magnets that we use to hook on these cars and uh, it allows us to dive down on them way easy. All right, so that car is literally at the very tip of the tree. Really? Yeah, it's so like oh, right when I go to the tree, it should be right on top of it. Oh. Which actually kind of cool. I thought it was closer to that, but floating it there, like right out in the middle. But there's no current, so we can easily float it no, up. I ain't scared. Right? I ain't scared. It'll be so much fun too. The only thing that's gonna suck is not seeing anything. All right, All right that, that's, that's the car. That's the one. One oh, hit. Quick. Didn't even have to use live. Yeah, that was quick. I love it. I'm gonna put the good buoy on because it just floats. Better. You judge so much. You would judge. You would. I'm gonna start calling you Judge Judge Judge, judge Judy. Judge Djibouti. <laughs> well, there's your there there. That was, well, you know what? Cut and dry. Which way is it facing? You remember? Uh, it's facing the road. I believe. Hmm. I could take the magnet and tie it off to the rear somewhere. And then you can just tie the, that rope, that thing to the front of this, and then we won't go anywhere. We got the car marked. It's almost time for a sexy sizzle reel, because I'm getting ready. So obviously we have to show slow-mo shots of me getting ready. But before we do, I got ourselves a super, super cool new sponsor. We got ourselves some huge lift bags. These lift bags are monsters. Yep. Now, I'll give you just a pinch of, of stuff, and then we're gonna break these things out. But this thing's one bag, 4,000 pounds of lift. 4, Comes with chains attached comes with all the attachments. All we gotta do is hook up a hose, hook up a tank, and we're good to go. Let's go break these things out and show the guys what we're talking about. Sounds good. Okay. You grab the other one. <laughs> all right, this is the bag, dude. Sub Salve sent me these bags, uh, and we got two of them, and this is a kit. Each bag has 4,000 pounds. That's 8,000 pounds of lift. They come with chains attached. So literally, all we gotta do is swim down with a chain, hopefully find something to get this around, and simply wrap it around, hook it on. We're through an axle, we're through something to pick it up, something like that. If we can't reach anything like that, we can simply put J-hooks through this, and uh, just, just put a J-hook through it and we're done. Yep. Simple as that. And it comes with a tank holder, you put your own tank in it. It comes with the, uh, the, the, this thing, for this, the tank. This air tanky thingy. So we can do the we can do the tank or we can do the hoses. Yeah, this is what's really cool is we can use the tank. We can like put it down here and do that if we wanted to. We prefer to use the, the, um, the hoses from the surface out the boat. And it comes with an attachment for the hoses. So we're solid there too. And that is the giant relief, you know, to let the air out. It's even got a locker on it. Also, it can't deflate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. This thing is a game changer. I mean, it's gonna help us out tremendously. We're never gonna have to stress about having a bag too small or not getting a car out. No, definitely not. This is a monster, I can't wait to use this. I don't know, I mean, I'm just, I'm expecting great things. So there's gonna be links in the description where you get yourself a sub salve. These are a very unique niche, yeah. right? Hobbyists aren't gonna buy these, but we have lots of rescue, we got lots of fire departments, yeah. tow truck guys, and uh, they might not even know about these things. But these are definitely the best bags you can get for the buck. So by all means, go check out the links, go check them out. And uh, let's put these babies to the test, see what happens. I'm excited. Yeah. Hey man, you gonna pop it? You gonna pop it for me? Yeah, <laughs> give me, a, give me a good pop, Jeremy. Okay, we'll pop it. I'm so sweaty. Oh god! Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, that was so great. <laughs> it goes on so much easier when you're sweating to death. Yeah. It's in my eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you had your mouth open. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Gross. Gross. My, my, my mouth was open yeah, and everything. <laughs> All right, Jeremy's in the water, as you can see, cooling off. Um, 
we're gonna get right into it. We're not really dilly dallying around, but here's the bags. I mean, basically, we kind of went over a little bit, but imagine the boat is the car, right? You know, tire here, tire there. We are gonna either wrap these around the axle if we have room and just clip them on themselves. Or if it's too buried and we need more distance, we have different straps. So we can wrap this around the axle and then tie that to this, which uh, is very pokey and dangerous. But uh, either way, we're gonna get this car out of the water. It's pretty full of mud, so we'll have to see how, you know, how heavy that is. But we got 8,000 pounds here. I think we're gonna be fine. What do you think? Definitely. All right, man, you ready? Nope. This should be fun. Maybe, it's be a little challenging. This should be a blast, man. Now people stop giving me grief, like, ooh, Jimmy never dies. Well, it's not that you don't dive, they say that you don't want to dive. I always just complain about everything. I like <laughs> diving. Obviously, this isn't ideal, but it gives you a rush every time. Would you rather be a current? Yes. <laughs> River currents are clearer and more fun, rockier. All right, Jeremy, tell us your thoughts. You don't even know. I hate this water already. It's got a nice sheen of scum on it. I'm Mr. Negative. I love it. That's what I meant to say. That's right. Don't sound like me. Yeah. I'm supposed to be the positive glue that holds this team together. <laughs> you? I'm gonna call you Elmer. Like Thud. There you go. <laughs> well, you wanna do? You wanna check it out first, or just go ahead and take the bag down? I wanna go down first and attach the. Attach oh, the, the this, okay. And as always, we have our OTS comms, which is this is an amazing tool. OTS uh, hooked us up a little bit, helping us get this really good equipment that you can actually communicate from the surface to him below. And uh, it's, it's for safety, it's a huge plus. He can relay information about the car live to me. And uh, yeah, shout out to OTS, they're awesome. Can you hear me? All right, Jeremy just went down. And uh, like I said, from I drove last time and it was a little bit buried, but it, it was full of mud. There was a little bit of sticks and stuff, I, I believe. As long as we can access these rims, the, the, uh, the axles, should be, we should be fine. Is gonna be a pain in the butt because it's pretty buried. It's buried. But I managed to dig it out and I could feel the uh, bumper mounts. I think I'll be able to get a, might be able to just clip a carabiner on it because they're big enough to just clip over it. And the front, I could bring the chain all the way through the front bumper. You think so? Like through the grill and underneath. Like I, I could reach my hand and you know what? You didn't tell me there are damn eels in this water. There's eels in there? And one darted out of that car. I was like, whoa, God. You, you could see visibility? Barely. I mean, I could see, I could see by what you were seeing, but it's it pretty, the second I got down there, I started stirring it up. Yeah. So you, we won't need the uh, loops or I anything. Don't think, I don't think so. Not for this one. You want to uh, take a bag down there and find out? Here we go. <laughs> there's, this, there's this thing about, it just, just, it just all seems like work. <laughs> it feels good right here. You get down there, it's a little chilly. I don't even know how deep, it's not, it's not deep was it? 10 feet? 10 feet, yeah. yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. Feels like you're 50 feet though, because it's dark. <laughs> I was like, I feel oh. like you're in the ocean. Huh? That's not that buried, right? The front end isn't. The back end is up to, up to the bumper. I had to dig the bumper out mm -hmm. to try to find the, the title. Do you think that bumper will hold with all, four, you know? I don't know. I think we, we'll lift, lift the front first, and then it'll break break for all the suction. And then the back, I think the back would just flow right up. I'm worried about the bumper hooking on that. Well, the bumper's attached to everything. It's an old car. Yeah. Hey, I'll try. We'll go with whatever you think, man. What's the worst that could happen? Just rips off. Rips something off. <laughs> to the, the boat. Video ramp. better go uber viral. 
Well, if everybody likes and comments on the video and subscribes, I think it will. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love this type of content? I mean, you got cars, scuba diving, mystery, Mitch. crime, Mitch. Mitch. Me. <laughs> We're in the leaves, man. We're in the trees. I'm gonna break his light off. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna hook these on here. I guess he's a, uh, yeah, I guess he's hooking on because there's some oil spots coming up here and there. I can see. Man, that was hard. But I don't know how I did it, but I got it rigged on the rear. On the bumper? Yeah, I had to go underneath and then loop, push the chain over that bar and yeah, then pull yeah. it through and then snap it together. Like, oh, that took forever. Are you going to go around the axles to the front? No, I'm going to, uh, Essentially, I'm going to go, you know, the headlights are. Yeah. You can go through and down and wrap around the bumper and all that stuff that's behind the bumper. And that's not going to. I don't know what it's going to It's going to hold. This car's super old. But I'm thinking we air the front end up first. I think that's more solid than the rear. As long as we break free, you know, all the suction. I don't think it's going to take that much to float this once we get it broke free of the mud. Yeah. But the current's going that way, the front end. I don't think this thing's actually stuck. I don't think it's bad. It is full of mud. Yeah, that's always a thing. So there's that weight. I mean, I, I feel like if you can, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll find out the hard way. We're gonna find out one way or another. Get this car out of here. That was fast. That was easy. Did you just let the bag go and you're just like, oh, we're done? <laughs> you yeah. didn't even hook it on? I don't know where it went. He lost it on the way down. We're gonna do one bag at a time. We're gonna do a whole tank per bag. Until it floats up, I guess. I'm, I'm excited to see how these bags turn out. I think they're gonna be amazing. And I mean, some, some the weight of a car full of mud can be pretty crazy. And even if they don't come to the surface, I mean, it'll be so easy to pull in. But I don't see how a car is not gonna come to the surface. If it was like a full-size truck or SUV, maybe. I like how this Oh yeah. It's almost like these bags are made for what we're doing. We like to joke around, but we really have to be, you know, a good communication teamwork when we're doing this because in reality, it is kind of dangerous. <laughs> it's not something, if you're watching this and you're interested, I would definitely, you know, recommend get going to the, get scuba certified, going through all the classes, and then you could build up the stuff like this and get involved with, uh, you know, your local rescue team, fire department. There's lots of opportunity, but safety first. You ready to make some magic happen? Man, I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I don't understand how much around. There's just shit everywhere. It just drives me nuts. And there's a cable down there, or not a cable, like a branch. It might be a fishing pole, but it is always in my way. <laughs> Almost. All right, we got this thing airing up. I hope this works. So we're, we're pulling the front end up, right? Yeah, the front end's like gonna pop up first and then we'll do the rear. Do you see orange? I don't see nothing yet. Well, it's holding on. We're gonna see a big break if it breaks. It's just gonna explode as it rips <laughs> the car in half. 
Something's happening. Something just hit the bottom of the boat, I felt like. No, I see the, 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 the it's up, oh shit. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. It's coming. I hope it don't. Something's moving like really close to us. It's gonna lift straight up, I guess is what happened. Something, or maybe part of the car broke. Bag number two. Oh God. So one of the things, we couldn't figure out what this car was, but I pulled that off last time. Heard, I think that's the name of the dealership though. Bill Heard, is that what you said? Bill Heard Chevrolet? Yeah. I don't know if, you, if any of you guys know, leave a comment. But that's what we're guessing. But that thing's old. <laughs> oh man, I just uh, sparked in here. Oh dude, you crop dusted yourself. Well no, it's in my dry seat now, so now it's gonna like, it's gonna cook. All right, so he's coming back up. Uh, I'm guessing that the car is like this, cause that something broke. I mean, it's a lot of weight, but we'll see what he says if he confirms that. But uh, that's my theory, anyways. That's, that's typically what happens. Oh, it looks like a bomb fixer to go off. <laughs> is oh, it? Did it? Is the car still on its wheels, or is it tilted? I couldn't tell. I was, I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little nervous. I got close to that giant balloon, and I'm just like, if this thing were to pop, I was like, I'd be, boom, it'd just blow me apart. So like, yeah, I, I took that away very quickly. I was like, oh, I'm out of here. I think it. I think it's. It broke free, but. It's just not up. Yeah, it's got a lot of mud in there, man. But this should this should do it. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. See what happens. All right, so we're having a little bit of a problem here. We uh, this car is heavier than we anticipated. It's full of mud, but um, we had to get another tank because the bags can hold what four thousand forty four. It, well, it's it's they say four thousand, but I think I saw something on the bags at forty four hundred pounds. So we still got another. Yeah, we got we got another. At least another thousand. Thousand in each. So uh, we got another tank. We're gonna fill them up the rest of the way. If that doesn't break three enough, we're just gonna put the tow truck right here and give it a little little tug. Something violent is gonna happen. I mean, I mean you can see the orange. Yeah, you can see the front the front bag, the rear one. The one All right, I'm gonna finish this bag up until it purges. Oh, there it goes. Here it comes. Is that, 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 that was the purge. <laughs> that was a purge. We might have to give this thing a tug with the truck, man. You know? man that's, I am shocked. <laughs> that's a lot. Just go down there and poke it. You're like, hey, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's either suction and it'll shoot up once we tug it, or if it's weight and it'll be super light to pull. So either way, once we start pulling, some of the dirt might come out the back. I have never felt so uneasy in my life. I went to that front wheel. I mean, the, the car is like. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the front end is like folding up. Really? Yeah. But the rear end isn't breaking free. I am shocked. I am. That thing ain't broke free. I mean, the front end is like folding up. That's ridiculous. I'm like, and then I'm sitting here crawling under the tire. Scared to oh, death. I was just like, I can't do this. I was like, I have a bad feeling. So I ended up. Uh, I ditched the cable idea, and I just, I threw the, the strap around the tire, oh. and then hooked it. I, same concept, I just bypassed the cable and just used the nylon. Well, that might rip, though. Well, it's better than me dying. Yeah, it is. That bitch is hazardous, man. That's like a rusty bolt away from ripping apart. All right, man, so uh, it's supposed to be super easy, but this was, this was one of the possibilities that could have gone wrong. <laughs> what are you doing? That does not that does not make you stronger, man. All right, man. Let's get serious. What? What's up? <laughs> right. You trying to be like me? So the car, <laughs> the car over there. It's not wanting to do what we want. It's all hot air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
he get back up? Nope. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. <laughs> He's about to roll over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> man, I gotta pee real bad. Oh man, I think I need to. <laughs> so we just took another line down to the what? The front, this tire. Yeah. So we got a bag here. Yeah. Is it the bag on the front or is it over the hood? No, it's directly in the front. It's directly on the front. Mm -hmm. You said it's bending. Oh yeah, the whole car is like folding up because <laughs> the rear end is, is stuck. And then you're around this bumper on the back. Yeah. And that's like, so is this line going over the hood right now? No. If we pull it, is it going to flip up? How's that going to work? Actually, I have no idea, to be honest with you, but it's not going to mess with the bag. Okay. So we're going to start um, pulling it and hopefully just, maybe that'll actually be good because it'll pull up the suction and then it'll flip the top. That's the only way to find out. Gotta be doing something soon. Oh, it's moving. Oh gosh, something's happening. It's moving. Oh. If anything, it's not gonna float, it's gonna drag. I think it's being I think it's moving. It's not float, it's not gonna float. I don't think it's I don't think it's stuck. I just I think the car weighs 400 ton. I mean it's coming easy. No problem. I bet that bag's about to come out if it gets a little shallower. I mean the bags are definitely helping it move, but yeah, move violently there. All right, hold up. Oh, we bought the bag. Well, I'm at, I'm at the end of the rope. I mean, it's moving just fine. It's moving. Yeah, it's moving easy. You think we can reach the boat ramp now? Like yeah, I mean, if we, can get, if we can get the boom out far enough for it not to hit trees. Is that 100 feet, you think? Should be. This baby root's going to hold the whole car. Oh, dang. That's about perfect distance, probably. Oh, the weeds. That would have been one. Yay. Oh, oh my God. Sure. I thought that. <laughs> that one thing. Don't drop the pin. All right, man. All right. This is it. We might have to. Adjust it once we get closer, but probably we'll stick the boom all the way out so you don't start grabbing the side of the bank. Looks like it's moving again. So the front end's bobbing. Is that what you could hear that crack in underwater? Yeah. Oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> We're bringing up a whole tree. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> shit. It must have ripped the rear bumper off. Man. Well, that didn't look good. One of the bags just shot out. I'm guessing it, the front end broke off, whatever he had hooked on. Well, the front end's still up. So I mean, we're still we're still dragging out. I'm pretty sure there's a bumper attached to the back of that. The the chain's ripped off the bag. The bag? Yeah. That's where the chains were attached to, and they just ripped completely through those. The other one still got the car up. I say keep dragging it until we it doesn't work anymore. Might not get this car out. I mean, look at the angle it's coming out, anyways. Oh. <laughs> All right, the line just broke. Well, luckily, we do have a replacement. It was starting to look bad anyways, but we got this other secondary line on. Hopefully, this one doesn't break. Why is it every time we think it's going to be easy? It never is. I think it's moving. Man, the tree moved. The car moves again. 
think you need to drive up that road and we can shoot the, the cable straight down. It's coming. I know, but the angle, it's gonna get bound up. Is this where you stand to die? Right there. Mitch is good, he signed something. Did you? And I forged it. <laughs> Man, you can't even see this. <laughs> that chalk is gone. I know. You need, you need a burrito, watch out. Don't get too close. Holy sh! <laughs> yeah, he hugged that a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, he's right there. I was like, ooh, he's getting a little close now. Whatever, it's gonna slide in. <laughs> it got a little squishy. It's right here, huh? It's, uh, it's not yeah. Bad, I, mean. I think it'll work. Okay. All right. What's going on? I'm gonna start calling you the hangry hamburglar. <laughs> well, one bag has broken on us. Yeah. The bag on the front is keeping the car at an angle like this. So it's kind of like- It's been moving slow. It's been bulldozing over all the logs and stuff. It's kind of funny. But I think we put the tow truck here and it's a straight shot. So we'll drag it right in front of where this like makeshift boat ramp is. Yeah. And then we'll move the tow truck again and then pull it straight out and then we're done. Dude, look at the mud driving through. Nah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about back that. out of this? No, nah, no, nah, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry, okay. no, I, don't, I, I know a guy. It's a tow truck, man, you just pull yourself out. I'll tow myself yeah. out. Yeah. Shit. All right. Who's the guy? I know a guy, don't worry. <laughs> I'm that guy. I can just, I'll just walk the cable over and hook it up to that and then you just keep pulling. Yeah? All right, we'll get walking. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Good. Hey, all right. We got we got the truck repositioned, everything squared away. Hopefully, guessing this thing's gonna pull right into the 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 the, 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 the uh, perpendicular with the boat ramp. Hopefully. And then we'll pull it straight. No, 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 no. Not it hopefully. Will. It, will. it will. It will. It will be successful. All right, we're now up here in the woods. Past the boat ramp because we got a straight shot to the car. And uh, it's moving. It's pulling the truck a little bit though. This thing is so heavy. We're gonna have a lot to wash out. I don't have to move in another tree. Is that what it is? Yeah, all those bubbles right there is a tree. It's, it's going up and down. The front end is luckily, you know, the airbag is still on. If that wasn't up, we'd have no hope. I'm surprised it's plowing through them trees so easily. Looks like he's about got the cable all in. So we're gonna have to go take out a section of the nylon rope and do it again. We got one more pull, I think, until we're good. Think so? Well, until we get it lined up and then we'll be able to pull it straight up. Yeah, have to spin it Man, it's moving, but it's not happy. I'm thinking we undo this because we always need just a little bit more. And that would take the whole thing down to that yellow strap. That should be enough. So you can tell Adam's mad. Starving. I'm getting hungry. Hangry as shit. Just wanna, just wanna drown me. Glad and I ate that burrito. We got that 100 foot section out of the way. This will be the pull that gets us right in front of the boat ramp. Anyway, you know what? I thought we was gonna fail. We might actually get this thing out. <laughs> That front end's floating. Yeah, it is. You can see it bounce, bobbing. All right, man. It's been a long struggle. We're in the, the home stretch here, I think. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> we got it all the way up right in front of the boat ramp, wrapped up like a Christmas present. I'm nervous because it kind of dropped off. It does right. drop off, yeah. So I'm like, I hope it's not hung up, but. Oh no! The, the tow truck went up a little bit. I can see the car right there. Let's 
it. it Man, it looks orange. like Swiss cheese. It looks orange. I think it's pink. Man, it's like a, it's like a big bed. We could, we could hook up the van, but we could also put the snatch block on there. Oh yeah, let's do that first. All right. Actually, good idea. Good idea, Nog. Give me the big one. All right, give me some slack. Oh no. It's hung up good, man. We're probably gonna have to fix that. Oh, dang. Chevrolet. I see a Chevrolet logo. Oh, we got a sticker. I don't believe that's holding. That's amazing. Oh, is that the hood? No way, is that the hood? Dang, look at that. Hey, you were lying. Woo! Dude, that thing is ridiculously old. Oh my God. Holy smokes. I still have no idea what the hell it is. Is there no in? If the engine's gone. Dude, there's no engine in this thing. Huh. They took the engine out and ditched the car, huh? I guess. It might have, uh, fell off. It might have. What do you guys think it is? Any emblems? I don't see anything right there. Somebody's gonna know what it is. We'll figure it out eventually. Impala? Oh hell, look at that. Is that an Impala special? It's Chevrolet right there. Okay. Oh shit. It says Impal. Im Impala. Impala. Well that solves that mystery. Not even no Impala, it's an Impal. <laughs> Dang, that's that's really weird. I've never seen a Impala hatchback. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, we didn't know what this car was, but dang. This is another one of those where it's like oh, questioning. Geez. 40, 50 years probably? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, man, so we just got this thing out. So what is this car? Oh, uh, well, there's a decal. I think it's an Impala. I don't think it's a hatchback. I think it's a wagon. Right? Station wagon, you think? Station yeah. wagon. I mean, here's the front of it. We thought, we didn't know what this thing was. That's wild. <laughs> Chevrolet, Swiss cheese, but... This is up there. <laughs> we pulled that off the side. Impala. All right. Just release the winch, and then we just pull forward and drag it out. The Chevy Impala station wagon is a timeless American classic. This iconic vehicle provides ample room for passengers and cargo, making it an ideal car for families and adventurers. From its powerful engine to its comfortable ride, the Chevy Impala station wagon continues to captivate automotive enthusiasts with its charm and style. Man, this was a tough one. This was a tough recovery. Man, it's too heavy. Huh? It's too heavy. And now it happens. Saw that was coming. How did that take that long? What are you thinking, man? I have no idea. Surround the axles, get the two to one. Probably rip the axle out too. Well, that frame was holding. That's crazy, man. Suck it directly to the frame. I mean, there's a hole there on the side. There's probably a hole on the other side. If we can put a J-hook in those. All right, I'm in a hole. Where's your hole? Right, you see where my thing is? I ain't got no hole. Oh, there, well, that's a hole. Oh, you're putting in this one right here? Which one? There's one on the front. Where? Right in here. Through here. Yeah, do that one. 
Is that the actual frame? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Feel strong. This this thing. I'll go hold it right here. This is impressive. That thing is so, so full of mud. Oh. The tow truck's uh, dragging. Look at that. Man, I wonder if I should start hosing out right here. Why like not while you're hooked up. Why not be a bad idea? <laughs> Bro! How close did that get to me? Man! That pop gave it away. I knew it was coming. Holy smokes. That was uh that was impressive. Oh that line broke. Yeah, both yeah. Okay, so we're out of lines. We gotta we, put our new one on then. Yeah. Alright, so we had uh, two lines break. This thing is too heavy. Jeremy's washing it out, so he's taking a lot of the weight off. We had one spare line we just installed on this thing, so we're about to wrap that up. This is what this was. I thought it was way smaller. Oh, it's got the back window curved. One. That explains why we broke that lift back. Wait, the window's curved? Yeah. Oh, that one's intact? I broke this one. I broke these two out. That's cool. Let's hook it on here. I'll hold it up. Hold. That's a cool car, man. It's a boat. We're 
we're actually a, a search and recovery team. We go around looking for vehicles underwater. We've actually got it pulled out already pretty much. It's a old like 70s uh, Chevy Impala. And uh, I mean, it's empty. There's nobody inside. Uh, we just, and I don't, actually, I don't even think there's a license plate. Um, but we just wanted to report it, I guess, just in case. Okay. Uh, we'll send an officer over there. Okay, thank you so much. All right, call the cops. We'll see what they say when we get here. We don't have a plate, right? There's no plate. Jeremy. I didn't see one. Is there a VIN? Ooh, we didn't pull. Oh, maybe we should try to get a VIN. Let's see if there's a VIN. Hello. So see where he's fishing. Let me guess, y'all found it right there about where the buoys were. Yep. Oh, uh, yep, actually. Yeah, we knew it was down there. Oh, yeah. They found it down there last time they had to pull a Ford F-150 out. In the same spot? Yeah, they knew oh. it was down there. That's an old cool. one. No body in it, is it? No. No, no. no. We just essentially just want to let you know what we found. If you knew about it, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Do you have uh, anybody on rotation, or you just want us to find a flatbed ourselves? Or? Well, we didn't ask for y'all to pull it out. I got you. Yeah, we, we just do this, uh, you know, volunteer, try to clean up the waterways and... I understand. We didn't have, we didn't find a plate. I don't it's know if you... Pro it's probably stolen, which yeah. they dump everything in here and in the Tennessee River. Yeah. And I go ahead and tell you, I can't run it and find out anything about it because... That's what I was thinking. The van is only going to be 13 characters, where now we use 17, oh, yeah. it won't even pull up 13. Mm -hmm. so, oh, wow. would it be that old, they ain't going to do nothing with it. The only thing that they would do, if there was a body in it, yeah. they'd go from there. Other than that, scrap it. Huh. They haul it off to the nearest scrap yard. Yep, that's what we. That's what we. Be done with it. That's fine too. Yeah, we just try to clean them up. You know. It looks like an old station wagon. It's a Impala. Impala it's like a wagon. I, uh, I, I guess. Seventy three. I didn't know it made an Impala wagon. I didn't think it it was. We thought it was like a Chevette or something at first, but. Does it have a four fifty four engine in it? Uh, I think I don't think it even had an engine. It looks like it might have been dumped without the engine. I can go ahead and tell you exactly what it is. They pulled the engine out and didn't want the car, so they Scrapped just pushed it, it off in the yes, creek. Yes, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Old drag truck. Well, instead of just dragging it to the scrapyard, now well, let's just push it off in the creek. Yeah. It was full of mud though. We washed out just because we didn't know for sure if there was a body in it or not. You know. I don't know exactly where, but this past duck season. There was a guy that lost a $1,200 damn shotgun in the damn creek. He was coming out and had his gun sitting there on the deck of the boat. Yeah. Oh. And he hit some rip water. And when oh. he did, his $1,200 gun goes over in the down oh, side. I'm man. like, you turn around, go back and get it. And he's like, nah. try magnet fishing or something, try to get it out with a magnet. Apparently, he was willing to lose $1,200. I was like, I'd be damned. Yeah. $1,200 is a lot of money. Yeah. But yeah, now if you find a gun, you know, we definitely definitely yeah. do a report on a gun and everything. But okay. as far as these old cars like this, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't find any more. But yeah, that F-150 they got out that day, the guy was backing down here to put his John boat in uh, and back the truck all the way down. Oh. When he did, he didn't put it in park. <laughs> so oh, the truck the backed man. on out there and the truck actually stayed upright and floated down the creek we're a good ways down there, about where it opened yeah, up, and then went whoop, <laughs> right in the water. And they, oh. they had to drag it all the way back this way, and then they drug it up on its hood, all the way up oh, here. Man. I was like, yeah, that sucker's <laughs> total. <laughs> They'll float, usually the trucks don't float as far. That's kind of impressive that it floated that far. Yeah. Hey, I'm surprised at it too. <laughs> F-150? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, know why it did it, but I guess it just had the perfect that, bullets that, that day. The air pocket, I guess. I guess. Yeah. But yeah, that car, we knew that car was there because they found it when they were pulling the truck. Yeah. I actually think they got hung on it. That's oh, really? How they found it. Yeah, it was not uh, fun. It's not easy getting out. All right, it is clearly the next day because uh, yesterday's video went well into the night. Dude, <laughs> that was the longest, hardest, probably heaviest car we ever got to deal with. It was, and, and you know what? 
We put the bags to the test and it's just the math didn't line up. I don't think it's the bag's fault, but we did have some problems. We're gonna work those out. Yeah, the bags the bags worked really well. I mean on the front end it helped because it lifted it up enough yeah, to like we could not have gotten that car out without these bags. No, but literally the bags are rated together eight thousand pounds. Yeah. We're lifting a car that was probably three times that. Yeah. So I mean that's just simple math. I get it, but we're gonna do better next time with the littler cars. Yeah, we gotta make a few <laughs> tweaks, but uh oh, yeah. yeah, we still we still did not fail, and that's all that matters. We got the car out. I thought 100% we're failing, though. I was like, there's no way I'm done. Let's go back home. I, I can't stand it, but I'm, that thing started moving, so I was like, well, I guess we'll just keep seeing what happens. So, yeah. wrecker guys broke their cables. Oh, I mean, it was it was oh, bad. Yeah. So we, we ended up breaking... We broke two. Two cables. They they broke one. One. It was it was cables, Ms. Carnage everywhere with the cables. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. That was good. Huge shout out to uh, the tow company. Independent. Independent towing. They were amazing. I can't stress enough. Uh, if you guys are in the Stevenson, what Scottsboro area, and you need a tow, use independent towing. They were amazing guys. And uh, you know, they, they helped us out on their dime on their time. And um, we really appreciate it. I think the coolest thing is like, you can go to their Google page yeah. or their Facebook page, leave a review, leave a comment. And it really does help out there the algorithm that pushes their business. Yeah, if you like, so, like it or uh, leave a good review, it helps yeah. get them to our business. So once again, shout out to them. We can't stress that enough. And uh, you know, we, um, what else? That's it, let's go find another car to pull. We're back today currently trying to pull out a few more. It's not the best weather, it's kind of rainy again. Um, but stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to Wrecked and Recovered. If you're not subscribed, you might miss out on something amazing. I mean, you'll definitely miss out on something funny. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, we got a lot more cars we're going to pull out, and you're not going to want to miss that. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, to go to rectumrecovery.com, you can get some merchandise, shirts, hats. Me? He's not included. Me? <laughs> unless you pay extra. <laughs> I'm a bonus. Yeah. I'll show up with the bag and jump out like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> Sorry. Also, if you want to help support us more, uh, you can become a member and watch the clean-out video early, which is just kind of a cool perk. And, uh, yeah, that's on. On to the next one, huh? I'm out. See you guys.